bad truth here in New York. We learned yesterday Antonio Brown has been suspended three games after a league investigation concluded that AB misrepresented his vaccination status by bringing a fake vax card to training camp. Safety Mike Edwards and free agent John Franklin were also given the same three game punishment for doing the same thing. All three players are now reportedly vaccinated and have accepted the discipline handed down with no plans to appeal. Hey, Chris Broussard, what was the, I'll ask it this way, was the three-game suspension enough? All right, Jenna, when, when this news first broke that indeed Antonio Brown did buy a fake vaccination card, I was under the impression that he went through basically this whole season fooling the Tampa Bay Buccaneers with his fake card. All right, and fooling his teammates and everybody and, and all that. And if that were the case, I thought he should be suspended for the entire season. All right, but the investigation showed that he went to camp with the fake card, with the intention of fooling everybody, including obviously the organization that brought him in and, and really resurrected his career. And yeah, then chance. someone told him, hey, if you do that, it's a felony, and you could be in big trouble. And then he went, he basically didn't go go through with the plan, and instead got vaccinated, and everything was good from that point on. So I think now, with that information out, that the three games is appropriate. All right, it's not a huge punishment because he's going to miss the two next two games anyway with his ankle injury and heel injury. So now he have to miss one more game. I you can't punish a guy. He had bad intentions, but he didn't go through with them. And even if he didn't go through with them for the wrong motives, all right, out of fear rather than you know what this isn't the right thing to do, he still didn't go through with them. So Nick, look, no, but he did. I think the three games is but, appropriate. But Broussard, he did go through with them. He just then went back and got vaccinated. I mean, he, he he robbed a bank, but then gave the money back. Like you still, he still presented the fake vaccination card, and then when we realized how much trouble he could be in, reportedly, allegedly, when he got vaccinated, my 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 answer is no. It's not a harsh enough penalty. First of all, his he he's made 80 million in career earnings. His salary this year is 900 grand. Three game checks, about 160 thousand. Now, one would think that's not really going to hurt him. Now, given the fact that all of this stems from the fact that he allegedly stiffed a chef out of 10K, maybe AB's hurting for money in a way I don't know. So maybe the financial penalty will hurt him a bit. But as Broussard mentioned, he was going to miss this time either way. He was, or at least two of the three games, they had announced he was going to be out with the ankle injury. The question I would have is this. At what point is the juice not worth the squeeze for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Even if the NFL is going to say that his penalty along with the safety Mike Edwards penalty is three games, what Mike Edwards doesn't have is a long history of awful behavior. And we can't say the awful behavior ended the moment he got with Tom Brady and the Bucks, because even last year there was the report of him destroying that that security camera or the gate at the guard stand right around the time Tampa was signing him. There's now him stiffing a chef out of money, which I don't know if that's criminal or civil, but it's obviously poor behavior. And what the NFL's investigation did find was that he committed a federal offense. Having a fake vax card, whether you agree it should be or not, it's a federal crime. Why, why do the Bucks? Who otherwise, by the way, have a team of really likable, rootable guys. Brady's one of the most popular athletes in the world. He's only really polarizing because he wins so much. Gronk is universally beloved. Vita Vea is adored. Sue is a tough guy on the field, off the field, one of the most respected guys in the sport. They got all these guys, Bruce Arians, who, by the way, is a cancer survivor. Tom Moore, who's 83 years old, that in the interim between AB having the fake vax card and then actually getting vaccinated, put all them at risk. Why, Bruce Sard, do the Bucks want to be associated with this guy? 
He's, he's, he has shown who he is time and time and time again. Do they think they need him that badly? I, I don't. I don't, think, I don't think he's worth it. They, they want to be associated with him, Nick, because he can play football. He's a great wide receiver. And I'm with you. Maybe they could win it without him. But that's why he's here. And I, look, I can't defend Antonio Brown's character at all. And I won't. Okay, because we, we, you mentioned a lot of the things that he's done. Even before this, you could question whether or not he should be with the Buccaneers. I get all of, of that. But it, look, you're right. The Buccaneers have a lot of good guys. But if we look around the league, let's keep it real. There are a oh, lot of guys yes. who've done some heinous stuff in the NFL, and they're still playing. So I'm not, I can't just single out Antonio Brown when you've got guys with histories of domestic violence and all types of stuff playing in like the Antonio NFL Brown. and we're celebrating them. No, right, but, but there's but others too. Point. That's my point. If you're going to start kicking right, guys out of the league because of bad characters, then we're going to have a long list, not just Antonio Brown. Absolutely, but at some point, Broussard, isn't there a seven strikes in your out policy? Isn't after your long list? Well, I think he's at five. Of, okay, five <laughs> strikes in your out. Yeah, I think that's he's my at five point, though. This is, like, it, it is amazing to me that if the NFL's investigation and Antonio Brown is not appealing, it, their determination was you procured and at least for a time used a forged vaccination card. That is against federal law. The question I would have to Bruce Arians, I would actually, Bruce Sard, I would have two questions to Bruce Arians. The first one is this. If when you signed Antonio Brown, we told you at some point he's going to commit a federal crime and not even argue he didn't. Are you going to stick by him? I think his answer would have been, no, we're not going to. But they are. And my second question to Bruce Arians would be this. Who's in charge? Because you were on the record you don't want Antonio Brown, and then you brought him in. You were on the record. We're at 100% vaccination. But you, you weren't, at least to the degree we had thought. And then you were on the record a week and a half ago. This is a non-story. But it was. So Bruce Arians, who everybody likes and I have mass respect for, are you in control of your own roster? Or does Brady get a carve out for his old roommate who's just a bad dude? And I, just real quick for you answer, I want to say so I don't seem like a hypocrite. The reason I'm not killing Mike Edwards on this is because Mike Edwards doesn't have a history of bad behavior. Mike Edwards in this instance did the same thing Antonio Brown did reportedly, but he doesn't have a long list of reasons for me to think he's a bad guy. So I, do, I don't believe you should be kicked out for a bad, one bad act necessarily, but at some point enough's enough. I, look, I think a big, and we don't, I don't know that we know the answer to this, right? But a big thing to me is when did he go ahead and make the decision? You know what? I'm not going to go through with this fake COVID card. All right. I mean, was it a couple of days? Was it the first day? Or was it two months? If it's, it was a long period of time, that's a different story. But I'm kind of from the report under the impression that he gets to camp and somebody tells him, look, man, you better not go through with this. And he goes ahead and gets vaccinated right away. And I think that's different, Nick. So I, I look, like I said, if he fooled his team and organization all season up until this investigation, then I think he should be suspended the rest of the season. But if the report says he got vaccinated, that's why the Buccaneers were so adamant. Look, he's vaccinated. It's legitimate. Then he had bad intentions. He decided against it, maybe not for the wrong motives or for with the right motives, but he didn't end up going through with his terrible plan. I think three games is sufficient. All right, we're going to set that aside at the end.